why in my vlog I am ranting. Consolation, come on man, change your service. And to, be, to think that it's a government office, please do improve. Hi guys, I am currently in, um, I'm not in a beach, <laughs> I'm in Tambayan Food Park in Consolacion. I just came from the local government unit of the LGU in Consolacion, man it was crazy. You know I am processing this document for our property development um, here in Consolacion and I called them up, asked for the requirements, when I asked for the requirements I even confirmed with them what were the requirements and this is, they said this and this apparently it was very minimal just put a copy piece of the titles because I'm I am looking for a new um, I'm applying for new tax declarations for certain titles but when I got there apparently there were a lot of requirements and I was not told on the phone and going to Consolacion is far from Cebu City the traffic is about like one hour two hours minimum so when I got here I ended up unproductive so I, in my vlog I am ranting consolation come on man change your service and to, be, to think that it's a government office please do improve a while ago I had a little bit of a rant because of what happened to me in consolation I'm currently on my way back and I'm in Mandawi City, had my lunch, I was able to think. But while I was having lunch, let me tell you a story. I ate, I don't know if you're familiar with this food, it's called Kiampao in Cebuano. It's a fish um, saucy type of meal and it has a lot, when you eat the, the fish, it's called Ubud. It's a kind of fish, I don't know what, what's the English term for that kind of fish, but it has a lot of bones. It's so yummy, and when you eat it, it somehow disturbs the experience of eating it because there's so many little bones, and they're not bones that are chewable, they're bones that are very, very sharp and could choke you or um, hit your gills, I mean your, your tongue or your, your, your throat if you don't, you're, if you're not careful. So, um, I was, while I was eating that, I was thinking of my experience, you know, especially not only today, but generally speaking in business. Sometimes in business, there are times really that you're like eating the kiampao fish or the ubud fish. Even if you think you're doing the right things, even if you have the right mindset, there are bones in, in, in what you're eating and on what you're doing. Somehow you, you, are, you are enjoying a little bit of the gain, probably the gains that you have or we're able to sell this kind of numbers of food or you have this number of clients but somehow something happens and bones will hit you and it kind of this, this takes you away from the experience of being an entrepreneur of enjoying not just the fruits no if you, a lot of people come on road or or I've always learned this from mentors that if you go to business just for money then you won't be able to do business for a long time so you have to enjoy the process you have to enjoy the especially the parts where you were able to win something big not because of money but the, really the sense of achieving something and doing, being able to do something and experiences like what happened to me in Consolation are really somehow disappointing in terms of our government and uh, you know the Philippines even now with our with the new leadership of the 30 has been always trying to be to move forward I believe a lot of the people in government about maybe 60% 80% of them are doing their best to move forward but apparently there are a lot of things that they need to be work, well to be worked on or there are a lot of work to be done for our government especially in terms of services anyway I consider that as part of the bones in business I'd rather enjoy what I am having now, especially the time to choose and of course being able to learn from this to prepare myself mentally 
you have to prepare yourself mentally for business. So if you're planning to be an entrepreneur, prepare yourself mentally. You have to be there's something that we call in entrepreneurship uh, advocacy quotient. You have to be you have to be very strong in terms of um, opposition, in terms of competition, in terms of challenges, in terms of government. <laughs> You know, um, so you have to be really, really prepared for that mentally. It's called the advocacy question. Um, what I want to share really is, besides of that, besides the things that will challenge you as an entrepreneur, is I believe there are a lot of things that you can also avoid, especially if in having a mentor and some, having somebody guide you. The problem with our our property business, I of course I went through it. Um, I ha I worked to was a consultant before with a development company property development company but I did not go through the process of um, documenting everything I was really focused on the marketing and uh, selling the properties or the projects so now in this area I'm still learning that's why if you can if you can find somebody who's already done what you want to do what you want to accomplish please approach that person approach that guy about that gal ask him for help help ask him for guidance and mentoring if possible you can ask for his email and his number don't get me wrong some people will say no but some I would say especially those who are successful ones will say yes they are very willing to of course train you and teach you what they know I hope you're learning see you later for another vlog Sir Chavi <laughs> Here at our grace sessions, we are feeding on the word of God. Guys, it's 8 o'clock and I'm not yet going home because I need to... Oh, I'll be attending. Not I need, but I want to. I want to attend our, our Bible study for um, I usually do this every Wednesday. Maybe I can show you a little of the time lapse that we're going to do or we're going to share. Anyway, before the day ends, I hope you work hard today. You work and give your best for yourself and for your family and for your dreams as well. By the way, if you have time, check out my Facebook page if you're watching this on YouTube check out my Facebook page um, it's facebook.com forward slash search for the entrepreneur and check out my daily vlog there I'm also giving out content there and some inspirational quotes and as well as some crazy videos <laughs> you can check it out in Facebook and my Instagram account is still search of underscore entrepreneur at search of and have a blessed day oh, you sleep well tomorrow I'm gonna share to you one of the ways you can start doing business online as a side hustle for your business bye God bless